Hey, let's get started. So the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how we can get custom item textures depending on whether we just want to change the base texture or whether it's got a different enchantment or whether it's a different stack size or literally, well, just about anything. There's only a couple folders that we care about in this entire process. So if we go into our resource pack folder, the first folder that we care about, well, let's just make a couple of tabs of this, right? Because we only care about three folders. So the first thing we care about is inside of our resource pack, if we go to assets, Minecraft, items, that, this is the first spot. This is the first thing we care about. Next, if we go into our resource pack again and go into assets, uh, wherever, our, wherever we plan to make all of our custom stuff, we'll go into that. We'll make a models folder here. And inside that models folder, we'll make an item folder we care about the stuff in here. And then the last place we care about is again, assets. We'll go into wherever we plan to make all of our custom stuff and then making a textures item. And then this last spot is where we're going to have all of our textures. All right, so these three folders are what we care about because whatever we put in this Minecraft items folder, which any one of these will read whatever the heck we put in this models item folder and that will look at whatever the heck we put in this textures item folder. That's the relationship between the three, all right? So items points to item points to specific texture. We also need to know what exactly we can replace to begin with. So we'll go back into our .minecraft folder and we'll go into versions, go into whatever version we're playing and look for this jar file here. And then we can extract this using whatever kind of extraction tool that you prefer. I've already done this and I moved that folder to my desktop, but this houses all of the items and other things from the base version of Minecraft. We're gonna look at two different ways to make custom items. The super duper simple way that has always worked and the not so simple way to do slightly more complex things. All right, first for the super duper simple method, if I want to take this diamond sword and make it look like any of these other swords, right? If I want to make this look like something different, then I just need to take my texture and name it diamond sword and put it wherever the heck it needs to be in the Minecraft textures item folder. So what that looks like is here's the texture I want for a diamond sword. I'm going to go into my pack assets, Minecraft textures, uh, item and that's it. I'm just going to move the item that says diamond sword in there. Diamond sword already exists. And there it is. Fantastic. So then if I press F3 and H or F3 and T to reload my texture pack, I can now see that my diamond sword is in fact the texture I just replaced. And that, that's it. That's the super duper simple way. For the more complicated stuff, how do I make this sword look different if it's got sharpness, for example? Our starting point is here in our Minecraft items folder. We want to make a file that is the item that we're trying to replace. So in this, in this case, we're trying to edit our diamond sword. And the easiest way to do this is if we just go into that version folder that we extracted earlier, and we go into the same Minecraft items folder. So let's just find wherever diamond sword is, since this is what we're trying to replace. And we'll move that into the texture pack. All right, we'll move that into the items folder in our texture pack. So then once we have that, we can open that up and we're gonna replace all of this. And we'll replace that with something we'll generate here on this website. So this will allow us to essentially create an if statement that says, if this is true, then use this texture. And if this is not true, then use another texture. And the way we'll do that is by this condition type. So for example, condition, and I want to set if this diamond sword has a specific component and we can do any number of things, right? But I'm going to say component. So if this diamond sword has an enchantment is what we, what we care about. And we'll select this plus value and we have some options here. So we'll set this to string and type what enchantment we want. And in this case, we care about sharpness. So if this diamond sword has enchantment, uh, sharpness, um, and we can set which specific level we want, or if we select here, we can set a minimum to maximum. So let's say if this has a minimum of sharpness four, then on true, we'll select model and type in whatever model we want. So in this case, I'll type uh, 
uh, sword, diamond sword. Great. Except this isn't really where we want this to point. We want this to point to our item folder. We want we want this to point here in this item folder specifically in the in the stuff we care about. So instead of Minecraft item, we'll change this to whatever whatever wherever we're making these changes in our asset folder. So in this case, I'm going to change this to. And instead of calling it item sword, I'm going to name this something else. Great. So again, what this currently reads is if our if we have sharpness on the diamond sword, then it's going to use this texture. And if not, then we can just make this look like the default model. So uh, diamond sword. Please. Awesome. So great. Again, we can make this default back to the diamond sword if it doesn't work. So how do we actually make this work? Well, fortunately, this website allows us to just take all of this stuff, we'll copy and open up that file we had earlier and just paste it in. Awesome. So we paste in the save. And again, since this is in the diamond sword file that we just created in Minecraft items, this applies for any diamond sword. If it has four, if it has a minimum of sharpness four, then it'll use whatever texture we put here with this name. And if not, it'll just default back to it'll just default back to the diamond sword texture. So then what's next is we said whatever is in this folder is looking at whatever the heck is in this folder. So we need something with this name in our models item folder and to find out what we can replace right because we're just replacing a bunch of stuff in the base game we'll go ahead and open up that assets or we'll open up the version folder that we extracted um, previously we'll go into models item again since we're trying to replace something originally and we'll look for what we're trying to replace again in this case a diamond sword so we'll take the diamond so sword folder and we'll copy paste except we want this to have the same name as what we called it in our in our models or in our items folder. So we'll give this the name of vSim. And then we can open this up. And we actually don't need to change too much in here, right? But what we said originally was that whatever's in this folder is looking at the specific textures in textures item. So then one, we can change this from Minecraft to RuneScape in my case, right? That's where I, that's the, the folder I have this under. And then whatever I want that texture to be called, I'm not going to name it Diamond Sword. I'm just going to call this the Sim Texture and save. Awesome. Now, obviously, I don't have a texture in here named the Sim Texture, so I can just put that in there. And that should be it. If I come back to my game and now again, F3 T to reload my resource pack. If I come into this anvil and I applied sharpness five to my diamond sword, it now looks exactly like I wanted to. And that's about it. Just some things to keep in mind is that bows can be kind of complicated because each one of these drawbacks is a different texture. So you need to do a little bit more with that. Um, it does work for armor as well. Um, so if you make an armor with the specific enchantment or anything else like damage, uh, you can change the item texture. However, you can't really change the armor model that way. It just doesn't work properly without editing the model files for armor as well. I don't think it's possible um, currently in the base game without mods to make custom armor models based on enchants and other things. Um, and lastly, for books, if you're trying to make a different texture based on the enchantment of some book, you're looking for the stored enchant as opposed to enchantments like on a sword or bow or piece of armor.